China has invented a tram system that glides smoothly through the city. It's a fully electric train bus hybrid invented by CRRC, a mass transit manufacturer in China. Interestingly, it doesn't need any tracks. Sounds pretty futuristic, right? These trams are just like the ones you might see in other cities. However, this tram has rubber tires, not wheels that run on metal tracks. The tram is 32 meters long and can carry up to 300 people at a time. It combines the comfort and capacity of a tram with the flexibility of a bus. The ride is smoother than a bus due to stabilizing technology, but this isn't just some flashy design concept. The Chinese autonomous trams are actually up and running in several cities, including Zhuzhou, Yibin, and Yancheng, and it has the potential to revolutionize public transportation. Now, you might be wondering, why would China develop a whole new kind of tram system? There must be a reason they decided to ditch the traditional tracks, right? Well, that's exactly what we're going to explore in this video. We'll be diving deep into the railless tram system, how it works, and the problems it's designed to solve. And along the way, we'll uncover three key secrets about this unique technology that might surprise you. So buckle up and get ready for a ride into the future of public transportation. China's megacities are booming, with more and more people moving to urban areas. About 20 years ago, only 30% of the Chinese population lived in cities. In 2023, about 933 million people lived in urban regions in China and 477 million in the rural areas. That more than doubled the entire U.S. population, moving into China's cities in the past two decades. The same proportional transition took 90 years to happen in Europe and 60 years in the U.S. This is great for the economy, but it also creates a big challenge traffic congestion. Imagine millions of cars crammed onto crowded streets, everyone inching forward at a snail's pace. It's not exactly a recipe for a happy commute. That's where the new trackless tram comes in. Traditional trams are fantastic for moving large numbers of people within a city. They're fast, efficient, and environmentally friendly. But there's one big drawback. They need tracks. Building and maintaining those tracks can be expensive and disruptive, especially in already crowded cities. According to experts, a new track construction costs between $1 million to $2 million per mile. So, China's engineers started thinking outside the box. What if they could create a tram system that offered the same benefits as traditional trams, but without the need for tracks? That's the basic idea behind the autonomous rail transit system. At the moment, these trams are actually driver-operated, not fully self-driving. But the key feature is the lack of tracks. Instead, the trams run on virtual tracks. There are dotted lines painted on the road that basically act as a guide. Sensors on the tram pick up signals from these markings and steer the tram along its designated route. Remember those virtual tracks we mentioned? They're not just painted lines on the road. These markings are embedded with electronic signals that the trams use for navigation. Imagine tiny invisible guideposts sending messages to the tram's computer system. These messages tell the tram exactly where it is on its route and how to navigate upcoming turns, stops, and intersections. Pretty cool, isn't it? But that's not all. The art trams also have special sensors that help them stay on track, literally. These sensors continuously scan the road surface, making sure the tram stays centered within the virtual lane. Think of it like a self-driving car. But instead of relying on cameras and maps, it uses signals embedded in the road itself. Now, you might be wondering, what about charging these electric trams? Well, the new tram system has that covered too. Similar to some electric buses, the trams use a system called pantograph charging. Imagine a giant upside-down Y-shaped arm on top of the tram. When the tram reaches designated stations, this arm connects with an overhead charging station, giving the tram a quick burst of electricity to keep it running. It's kind of like a pit stop for a race car, but way faster and more efficient. So, how does this all translate to a real-world experience? Let's take a trip to the city of Zhuzhou in China's Hunan province. Zhuzhou holds the distinction of being the first city in the world to implement tram system back in May 2018. Their initial line is a little over 4.5 kilometers long, and it connects several key areas within the city. The trams operate from early morning to late evening, with departures every 10 to 15 minutes. So you can easily catch a tram every quarter of an hour. That's pretty convenient. Now, here's one of those secret facts we mentioned earlier. While the trams are currently free to ride in Xi'an, a city piloting a new demonstration line, this might not always be the case. In other operational cities like Zhuzhou, fares are currently collected using a traditional ticketing system. So, while the initial rollout might be free to encourage ridership, 
the long-term plan might involve charging fares to cover operating costs. But the benefits of the tram system go beyond just convenience and cost. Remember how we talked about traffic congestion being a major issue in Chinese cities? Well, this railless tram system is designed to be a more environmentally friendly alternative to cars. These are electric trams. They produce zero emissions, helping to reduce air pollution and improve overall air quality. So, not only are you getting a smooth ride, but you're also contributing to a cleaner and healthier city. However, this autonomous rail transit system isn't without its limitations. One thing to keep in mind is that these trams are still under development. While they have proven successful in several cities, it remains to be seen how they'll perform on a larger scale or in more complex urban environments. Another factor is capacity. While the trams can carry up to 300 passengers at a go, they might not be suitable for super high capacity routes that require massive subway systems. But despite these limitations, the art system holds a lot of promise for the future of public transportation. So, what's the impact of China's art tram system on urban planning? Traditional trams are great, but they're not flexible. They need dedicated tracks, which can limit their reach and make them difficult to integrate into existing city layouts. The art system, on the other hand, is much more versatile. Because they don't rely on physical tracks, they can navigate curbs and inclines more easily. This opens up a whole new world of possibilities for urban planners. Imagine a tram system that can weave through neighborhoods, connect busy commercial districts, and even reach areas that were previously inaccessible with traditional trams. The new transit system has the potential to revolutionize the way we design and navigate our cities. So, what about the cost of operation? Remember how we mentioned that traditional trams require expensive track infrastructure? Well, that's one of the biggest advantages of the art system. By eliminating the need for tracks, cities can potentially save a significant amount of money on construction and maintenance costs. This is a major advantage, especially for developing cities looking for cost-effective ways to improve their public transportation networks. Let's take a closer look at the numbers. The initial investment for a traditional tram system can be quite high, sometimes reaching billions of dollars depending on the length and complexity of the network. China's autonomous tram system, on the other hand, offers a potentially lower barrier to entry. While the exact cost figures can vary, estimates suggest that building a trackless tramline can be significantly cheaper than a traditional tram system. Of course, there are still operational costs to consider, such as electricity for the trams and maintenance of the virtual tracks and guidance systems. But overall, the potential cost savings associated with reduced infrastructure needs make the art system an attractive option for many cities. China's autonomous tram system is still a relatively new technology, and there's still a lot to learn about its long-term viability. While the initial results are promising, more research and development are needed to see how it performs in different weather conditions and over extended periods. As China continues to develop and refine this tram technology, we might be witnessing a glimpse into the future of public transportation. So, what does this all mean for you? Well, the art trams might not be rolling down your street just yet, but it's an exciting development that could have a major impact on how we travel in the years to come. Imagine a world where cities are less congested, air quality is improved, and getting around is a breeze. The tramway is a step in that direction, and it will be interesting to see how this innovative technology continues to evolve.